There once was a girl who fell madly in love with the Persian prince. So she baked him a cake filled with love magic to make him fall in love with her. The verdict is out on whether it worked or not, but one thing is for sure, this cake is magical. Made of almond flour and lemon, scented with rose and cardamom and topped with pistachio, I knew this cake would make an excellent cocktail. There are a few recipes out there with additional ingredients. I like to add fresh pomegranate arils to mine. I like the pop of color and also their acidity helps to cut through the sweetness of the glaze. For the base spirit, this gin felt like a natural choice. This is one of my favorite gins, made right here in New York. It's named after New York's own Dorothy Parker, who is known for her quick wit and of course her writing. The gin has a bit of a floral characteristic that works perfectly with the flavors of this drink. Since this is an almond cake after all, I will be using Disarono to impart the almond flavor and a bit of sweetness. For the cardamom rose and pistachio elements, I'll be making an orgia combining all three. Instead of my usual orgia recipe, which I will link below, I decided to try Dave Arnold's recipe that includes a couple extra science-y ingredients, which we'll get to in just a minute. The first step is shelling the pistachios. You could of course buy them already shelled, but if you're a subscriber to this channel, you know by now that I never do things the easy way. I'm going to need 50 grams of pistachios. Once I've shelled all the pistachios, I'm going to blanch them. Unlike almonds, when blanching pistachios, you'll want to soak them in cold water first to help the skins release from the nooks and crannies. If you don't remove it, your orgia will be more of a brownish color rather than green. It will be delicious either way, but I think it looks nicer and has a smoother texture with the skins removed. After 5 minutes has passed, drain them and then soak them for another 5 minutes in hot water. Once the skins easily slip off, drain the pistachios and remove the skins one by one. Next, I'm going to add them to my blender along with 165 grams of hot water and the seeds from two cardamom pods. I'll blend this on high for a minute or so. Once it's been fully blended, I'm going to strain out the nut milk by pouring it into my nut milk bag and squeezing out the liquid. To keep this from separating, as homemade orgeats are prone to do, I'll be adding some stabilizers. Dave Arnold uses something called Ticaloid 210S along with a bit of xanthan gum. You can get relatively the same result by using a blend of gum arabic and some xanthan gum powders to a 10 to 1 ratio. Since I'm making a fairly small batch of orgia, I'm going to need a drug scale to get accurate measurements. I need 0.4 grams of gum arabic and 0.09 grams of xanthan gum. While the cardamom and pistachio milk is still hot, I'm going to add it back into a clean blender along with 165 grams of sugar and 40 drops of rose water, which is pretty potent, so be careful not to add too much. While the blender is running, I'll add the xanthan gum and gum arabic powders and I'll let this blend for about a minute and a half on high to ensure that the gums are fully incorporated. Now, I'll just pour it into a jar and label it. Before I build the cocktail, I want to add the pomegranate element. Instead of doing an elaborate garnish, I thought it would be fun to dust the exterior of the glass in a dehydrated pomegranate powder. You'll need a frozen glass for this to work. I'm going to place the glass in a bowl and spritz a section with rose water. Then I will sift the pomegranate powder directly onto the glass in a thin layer. I'll repeat this process until the whole glass is covered. Then put it back in the freezer while I build the drink. The contents of the drink will be a half ounce of lemon juice, one and a half ounces of the cardamom, pistachio, and rose orgia, 
one and a quarter ounces of the Dorothy Parker gin, a half an ounce of Di Sirono, and four to five drops of saline. Since this is being served over crushed ice, I will be shaking this without any ice just to make sure that the ingredients are fully combined before pouring it into an ice filled glass. I really like the simple look of this drink with the matte powder coated glass. It tastes absolutely amazing, and oddly enough, not really like a dessert drink. The tartness from the lemon and savoriness from the pistachio, along with the saline, lend a lot of character to this cocktail. I like how the Disarono is more of a supporting character than the star of this drink, which for me, Disarono tends to take over. Side by side with the cake, it tastes pretty much spot on. The drink may be a little less sweet, even with the almond liqueur and a good amount of orgia. The pomegranate powder definitely helps to add a bit more tartness too. Though I didn't add any love magic to this drink, I think anyone would fall in love with this cocktail. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below on what you think of my Persian love cocktail, or if you have a favorite dessert you'd like to see transformed into a cocktail. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't yet, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of fun and experimental ideas lined up for future videos, and I can't wait to share them on here in the coming weeks. Cheers and have a great week.